Oh yes, oh glory be to Jesus and the hallelujahs of oh, And we my Savior's praise is far and wide. For a hope and of the heaven, all the windows of my soul, and that living on the hallelujah side. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. 
Shout it, shout your freedom. Every winner is eternal peace declare. Victory, oh praise the Lord. Victory, oh victory. Let us sing it here below in the face of every foe. Victory, bless thee the name of the Lord. Victory, my precious blood. Victory, yes, victory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we are free. Jesus gives us victory, now glory, glory, hallelujah. We dissolve in all to have so praise his name. We will sing it on the shore when this fleeting life is o'er. Victory, oh praise the Lord. Victory, oh hallelujah. Sing it here, ye ransom throng. Start the everlasting song. Victory, hallelujah. Victory, oh praise his name. Victory, oh bless the Lord, yes, victory, hallelujah, hallelujah, we are free, Jesus gives us victory, now glory, glory, hallelujah, he is all in all to us. Is it for that things declare victory, victory? Let us sing it here below in the face of every foe. Victory, oh praise the Lord. Victory, victory, oh praise the Lord God. Victory, hallelujah, hallelujah. We are free. Jesus gives us victory now. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah, is all in all to us. Victory, oh victory, 
Victory, hallelujah, yes, victory. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, we are free. Jesus gave us victory and we fight for his victory because we are sons of the living God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Jesus gives us victory. Now. Glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. He is all in all to us so great is name, oh hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God be all the glory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Praise God. Praise God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise God. Great is thy faithfulness. Oh God, our Father, there is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassion, Lord, if no.
Lord, to us. Summer and winter. And springtime and harvest time. Sun, moon, and stars, my Lord. Sun, moon, and stars, my Lord. Sun, moon, and stars in their core. Seas above, 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 above. Join with all nature in many food with the
Jesus is waiting. There's a place that you will be anxiously waiting for I of his presence till the beautiful garden of prayer. Oh, the beautiful garden, the garden of prayer. Oh, the beautiful garden of prayer. Where my Savior awaits and the old the gates to the beauty for garden of praise. In fact, it must have gotten a perfect little perfect place. There's the garden where the most reverend Jesus is waiting. Get it for already, maybe. Yeah. There's a place that is one trust live fair. For it glows with the light of Jesus. Presence, I, 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 I. This the beautiful garden, the garden of prayer. Oh, the beautiful garden, the garden of prayer. Oh, the beautiful garden of prayer. All right, I pray. Will the Savior awaits me? And he opened the gates to the beauty, beautiful garden of prayer. We're coming, Jesus, we're coming, sir. Hallelujah. There's a garden where Jesus is waiting. I, 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 I. And I go with my burden and care. That's what he's here for. Just to learn from his lips, words of comfort, have you have got comfort of him in that beautiful garden of prayer? Oh, the beautiful garden, the garden of prayer. Oh, the beautiful garden of prayer. Where the Savior away. And he opens the gates to the beauty, beautiful garden of prayer. Over two mango trees roots. 
These mangoes were planted together and they came out arched like this. One chunk went that way, one chunk went this way. And it's around 5 o'clock in the morning as I stepped across the mango streets, roots I heard. There's a garden where Jesus is waiting. There's a place that is one draws living. For it grows with the light of his presence. Hallelujah. Tis the beautiful garden of prayer. Oh, the beautiful garden. Oh, that sweet, precious garden of prayer. We read that yesterday. Yes, that beautiful garden of prayer. What a savior awaits. And they waited for me at the entrance of the garden. And he opened the gates when I heard the song in my spirit, my spirit lifted in praises to the beauty for garden. Oh, poor son, no, know, know that he wants us to the pray. There's the garden where King Jesus is waiting. Hallelujah. And he bids me to come meet him there. Today he's waiting for us to pray. Just a bow. I receive thy new blessings. I love you, Lord. In the beauty for God. Oh, pray. I've just been married. Just married a few days, a few weeks. And I left my wife to go see the Lord. It was a beautiful experience. Oh, that beautiful garden. I still remember that yesterday, Lord, the garden. Oh, pray your voice was soothing and your coffee was refreshing. Oh, that beautiful garden. Oh, pray we love you, Lord. Where the Savior himself awaits. And not an angel, but he himself opens the gates to the beauty. Beautiful garden of pride. We must stop until I feel released. For you said in your word, this is the day that the Lord has made, 
and we are rejoicing and are exceedingly glad. We thank you. We are going right into prayer. Praise be to God. We welcome the Father. We welcome the Son. We welcome the Holy Spirit. We thank God for the angels that are on command. We thank God for the cherubims and the seraphims. We thank God for all our guardian. We thank God for the watchwoman of Zion. We thank God for our greatest intercessors. We thank God for our dear spiritual father, Apostle David E. Taylor. We thank God, praise the Lord, for Minister Crystal Glenn who is taking this time to bring today's prayer. We thank God for her faithfulness. We bless her ministry. We bless her community. We bless her city. And we God bless America. And we are standing here alongside our neighboring country from where we're ministering from at Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. And we thank God we're connecting with Toronto and with Brampton and all the provinces and all the cities glory to God we thank God for you all that are online as we're going into prayer we are giving this service over unto the Lord so we're not gonna be doing as we normally do but we're going to go by the leading of the Holy Spirit glory to God and I give honor to my husband minister Solomon Alcana Vassell my king, my armor, my greatest intercessor, my lover, and my friend. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And greetings to Anthony and all our children and everyone that are watching. Praise God and thereafter in Jesus' mighty name. Mm -hmm. Jesus, yes, Lord. 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 Yes, Lord.
He prayed, oh Father, thy will be done. Now he hear and watch with me for the words he said. Though I'm burning with sorrow, also he bowed his dear head. Then with Peter and others in his agony, he prayed, Father, oh, let this come no pass from me. Oh, glory alone into the garden, he prayed alone. And for a sin, he did a throne, he did a throne. He prayed unto the Father, so said the Son. He prayed, oh, Father, that will be done. So they crucified Jesus on the rock and cross. Claiming all he had done was absolutely a loss. <laughs> but the angel from heaven came down from the lofty throne. The old now his risen, senseless, made him the one choice. Oh, glory alone into the garden. He prayed alone, oh, glory. He prayed for the will be done. He prayed unto the Father. So said the summer, he prayed, oh Father, that will be done. Carry here and watch with me, were the words he said. Though one burdened with sorrow, so he bowed his dear head. Then with Peter and others, in his agony, he prayed, Father, oh, let this, let this cup no pass from me. Oh, glory the garden he prayed alone, and for sent he did at home, he did at home. He prayed unto the Father, so said the Son, he prayed, O Father, thy will be done. So they crucified Jesus on the rock and cross, claiming all he had done was absolutely a loss. But an angel came down from heaven, from his lofty throne, saying, Behold, now he is risen, now you can make Jesus your choice. Oh, glory alone, into the garden, Jesus prayed alone, and for all of our sins he did at home. He prayed unto the Father, so said the Son. He prayed, O oh, Father, that will be done. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. 
that God separates us unto himself from times and seasons for spiritual divine intimacy like Jesus. He is our perfect example. And sometimes the separation is such a trying one that like Jesus will feel like you once said, Jesus, I cannot go through this. But alone into the wilderness he went and fasted and prayed for 40 days and 40 nights to be tempted as a devil. And he said in Deuteronomy, he allowed his people to be hungry in the wilderness, not in Egypt land. Yes, Lord. Journey to the Canaan land. He said he made them hungry that they might knew what's within their hearts, that his man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God shall not live. So whoever might be going through would be going through some trials alone. Know that the Lord Jesus Christ promises you will never leave us alone. Hallelujah. And He's with you. Hallelujah. So I just want to put that in before I go to the other song. And the next speaker after this song, and maybe prior, one of the speaker for the day. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. When God shot, oh no, in the grand door. God put the rainbow in the clouds. When the thunders rolled and the sky was dark, are you going to remember like that? God said, Our promises made to his people. In that day, he put a rainbow in the clouds. God put the rainbow in our clouds. God put the rainbow in the cloud. When it seemed like the sun wouldn't shine anymore, anymore, anymore. But God, you have the rainbow. In the cloud, well, well, well. away down yonder in Egypt's sand, there in captivity for 430 years, God Himself put a rainbow, a promise to the children of Israel. In the cloud, He the promise to Abraham, just to lead His children to the promised land. God. He holds the rainbow in each and every one of us clouds. God put the rainbow in our clouds. God himself a rainbow give us a river word and give us a promise in the cloudiness of all lives, each and every one of us everywhere we are. When it sees like the sun what not shine anymore, anymore, anymore than God. He hung a rainbow in the cloud. When they put old Daniel in the lion's den, his enemies decreed that he should die by being eaten by animals. God. On a rainbow in Daniel's cloud, he still prayed three times a day just to prove his promise to the sons of men. God, on a rainbow in the cloud, God put a rainbow in the cloud. There's a good word coming for us today. I, 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 I. God himself, himself on a rainbow, he cannot lie in the clouds and every one of us likes individually and collectively anywhere we are at every day of our lives. Oh, what it seems like we are not coming through our trials and our testings, my brothers and sisters, wherever you are, hallelujah to the Lord. Remember that God has given you a promise that he's going to bring you through. Oh, hallelujah, when they put 
Old Daniel, the book of Daniel, from chapters. In the lion's day, God put a rainbow in the cloud. What happened what to Daniel's enemies? They were all through the lion's day. They, their wives, and their children, and before they reached the bottom of the den, they were all torn in pieces. What Daniel slept and laid his head, and the lions they didn't, didn't touch him. When they put old Daniel in the lion's den, you gotta be tested like that was tested. God put a rainbow in the clouds. The thing is that his enemies didn't know that God gave them a promise, you know. When God gave you a promise, you can stand on the promises. Hallelujah. Just to prove his promise to the sons of men. God. On a rainbow in the cloud, the service is yours, Father. God put a rainbow in the clouds of every one of our lives. God on a rainbow, a sign and promise is going to bring us to bring us through in the clouds of every one of our lives all across the world. When He chooses, by He chooses. When it seems like the sun would shine in a rainbow in my cloud. Anymore. 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 God of a rainbow in the clouds. Brothers and sisters take this very seriously. God is having a rainbow in no clouds, it's impossible for him to lie. God on a rainbow, in no clouds. The Bible says, if we don't believe in this, he that bites faithful, he cannot deny himself. I hide, I hide, I hide, I hide, I hide, I hide, I hide. Oh, when it seems like the sun won't shine anymore. Anymore, prophets pastor. Yes, Anymore, oh, 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 God, a rainbow in the clouds. There is a rainbow promise in your clouds and where you want all across the world. Yes, and the rainbow word God has given to you stand at in night time. Night and night and day and day and day and night. When it seemed like the sun would shine anymore in our lives, personally and collectively, hallelujah to the Lord. Just remember that this promise in the foundation of this word standing sure. Go, 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 in the Jerusalem. That's where we've come today. Always we come. 
to add innumerable company of angels to the church of the firstborn. And I love that script here. To God, the judge of all. Mm -hmm. And to Jesus the Christ, for me, the Ator, who sits on your right hand of all, authority and power, making intercession for us. Yes, and very importantly, we are come to the sprinkling of Jesus' blood that speaks better things than that of evil. Yes, and that's because of those reasons we have assured today that you're with us. And we've come to a place in the service mm -hmm. when our hungry hearts are looking to you to feed us. And our thirsty souls are looking to you to give us drink to quench our thirst in this wilderness journey on our way to spiritual Canaan land. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you in a real personal way, maybe in a collective way. But I believe you found a ransom. You found a man that's standing between you and your people who is of a broken heart and a contrite spirit. You found it a woman here and there too, Lord, whose heart is pure towards you and who is of a broken heart and a contrite spirit that you could speak through that person to us and this person can bring us back to you backward and forward to encourage us to counsel us to direct us to strengthen us to give us a word of courage in the name of jesus at this moment we release before you before your holy throne which is becoming to over and over and spend the weekend yes, waiting before you, yes, Providence, Kisha, Teresa, Maitland, Naga, Lord, yes. Lord, we present her before you spiritually, mm -hmm. mentally, and physically. We praise you for taking over her tripartness with your holy Shekinah, glorious anointing that she speak as an oracle of God in boldness and clarity and precision that which you have for the audience of this ministry today and onward. And we pray that you'll do it at this time. Jesus Christ himself be glorified. We are crucified with him. And nevertheless we live with Christ. So let Christ manifest through earth today. Prepare our hearts and our minds to receive your feeding and your thirst, our thirst be quenched, as you glorify your son's name and build up the church for your glory in these last of the last days. Thanks for Prophet this Glenn's prayer. We praise the Lord for those who are praying with and for us. We praise for those who are loving us. And we even praise you, dear, those who are hating us because we shall be trinitated in this world. But we have the victory in your name. So, Father, release your daughter to speak as an oracle of God to your honor and your glory. May she take her time and give us what you can give her heart to give to us. We thank you. Those Satan rages, we shall not be defeated. We have the power in the name of the Lord. We have the power in the name of Jesus. God has given us that power in the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Though Satan rages, that's prophet. We shall. We shall not be defeated. We've got the power, oh you. In the name of Jesus. I'm decreasing that this lady will increase in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. We greet you all in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, man of God. We give glory to God for the worship that was brought forth today through Minister Vassal. We thank God for everything that he has planned for us, for you, and for the body of Christ, and for each and every one of us individually and collectively. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. I must start that. We must give honor, praise the Lord, to the Lord Jesus Christ, praise God. We must give honor to Father the Jehovah. We must give honor, praise God, to the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And I give honor to my husband, Minister Solomon Alkena Vassal. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I give honor to our parents. Be careful, Minister Vassal. It's okay. To our mother and um, Mrs. Louise Vassal, Mrs. Norma Green. And I greet you all in the precious name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And Minister Glenn, we thank God for you again. And each and every okay. one of you that are joining, Minister Vassal, I might need a chair, a high chair. Maybe this one can stay here for the Lord. Praise God. We have a special chair here as we know that we have invited the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And so we are reserving this chair here. As you know, it's a very special chair. And so you will see what we're talking about when we get to the message. Praise the Lord. I am not going to sit yet, but I give God um, honor and glory. Praise the Lord for everything. And so I'm not going to take any more time to do any more. But Minister Vassal, that is ready. Praise God. So that can stay there as it is ready. And you can get yourself ready, sir, man of God. I don't know if you remembered what I had asked you to read. But I'm going to check it out. Not on here. You could probably wait. And we're going to read first here. Man of God, this one I'll show you. I won't say it yet out loud here. And you can see what I am. You can see here and find that scripture. Hallelujah. Just before we get there. Praise the Lord. And we are going to begin. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Praise God. And greetings to all in the precious name of Jesus. And so... Before we look at the majestic of the rainbow, God's bow, in scripture, let's review what the modern science teaches about this unparalleled display of colorful light. In order for a rainbow to occur, three particular criteria have to be met. The sun has to be shining behind you. A rain cloud or moisture in the air must be in front of you. And as I already said earlier to our spiritual father, Apostle David E. Taylor, who were um, leading us into a 21 day of uh, prayers for breaking all demonic powers and witchcraft and all evil and wickedness we are given glory and honor for this season as you know that the season is changing when we look outside we see the leaves on the trees are changing we see the beautiful uh, flowers they are losing their leaves glory to God and so I'm just saying you know we're in a season and so we have to go with the flow for the different season that our apostle um, David E. Taylor and Jamie, my staff, has called us into because we are all a part of it. You know, sometimes we're in season of miracles, sometimes we're in season of healing, sometimes we're in season of deliverance and visitation, and now we're in a season of prayer. Praise be to God. And so I wanted to stop that as I already did, but I want to do that before I forget again. Glory to God. And so, and the sun rays have to shine through the cloud at an anti-solar point of 42 degrees. The anti-solar point is where the shadow of your head is. 
When a beam of sunlight passes through a water droplet, it slows down and spreads out, separating each color that makes up white light. The process of light refraction or bending can be more accurately described as the process of light changing speed as it moves through different densities. The reason why rainbows appear as an arch is because of the bending of and dispersing of light through millions of water. Remember I said this is what the scientific or the scientific experiment are saying, but the colors will always display in the same order due to the fact that each color has its own wavelength or intensity. Man. And so as we have this chair here, we have tried our best to put it in the order of the colors, glory to God. And as you can see, we do have the red, and we also have the orange in color. We have the yellow, glory to God. We've got green, praise be to God. And we also have the blue. And I think Minister Vassal said there's a color called indigo that is in between a purple and also a color that's in between the blue. And also we have purple, which is the violet, glory to God. So. We love colors, so I gathered a few of our color. Those are my scarves or my shawl. And so I wanted to do a rainbow for the Lord. And we wanted to specify that these colors belong to the Lord. These are, I'm not going into warfare yet, but we are going to go somewhere in the teaching that the Lord have for you today. But before we get to that, Minister Vassal, can you please share here, maybe, um, let's see, I'm going to see if this will show up. Minister Vassal and hi, over the years, we have taken pictures. You can also use your microphone and you can play that. Yeah, but you can show the pictures of some of the rainbow pictures that we have taken over the years. Praise be to God. You can show Please those. Please take time with us <laughs> because we are doing a very slow <laughs> and precise sermon today. Mm -hmm. Praise and the you Lord. might be able to see Thank this you. properly as it Praise is. The Lord. What's important yes. to get the understanding yes, of Lord. what we have to share yes, with you today. Lord. Praise, Praise God. the Lord. And Hallelujah. so Minister Vassa will be my great help and he's going to be the Lord's helper as he is with us and with me doing this together. Glory to God. Sorry. <laughs> Hallelujah. Sorry to get it from the order. It's okay. But um, there was a time yeah. when we, we, we go out of the town when we've been to Toronto. We like to see the beautiful vegetation, the water, the vegetation of the land, and all the beauty of God's natural creation. So we've been traversing north of Toronto, west, east, hallelujah. And even here in Niagara Falls, you've seen tons of rainbow. But this has been the longest one that we saw. We had gone out of town one Saturday, the whole family, and we had gone northwest of Toronto, hallelujah, about a hundred plus kilos, and we came around to a place called Hallelujah New Market. And Anthony was only about five years younger, he was about mm -hmm. he was about nine or so. Yeah. And Anthony asked his mother to play um, Waymaker. Waymaker. Now, in those times, that was expensive, and we wouldn't do that when we were from Wi Fi. But she said to him, Anthony, it's going to cost, I can't afford it right now. We're sharing my story with you. And um, we stopped and broke off fasting. We were taking cutting and fasting at a Walmart in the New Market area. And when we left the store, my wife humbled herself and said, it's going to cost us something, but I'm going to give you a desire. And this, we started praying, playing with Maker. We turned on our highway that's called Highway 9. Regular highway, 8 kilos per hour, and we just dreamed about a half kilo or so. We saw a rainbow on our left side, a very outstanding, brightly colored rainbow. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, we drew about five, six, seven, or eight kilos and turned left on a super highway called 400 going south. 
and the rainbow turned with us. Hallelujah, glory to God. The first of the moment struck because God is a personal God, it is yes, a connective Lord. God, and we honor your faith and your sacrifices. We just casually went to the town, casually worshiping, casually sharing. Glory to God. We turned on the highway 400, the rainbow, turned the left with us. And at this time, it was on both sides of the highway for about 15 kilos. So let me play this video. And I don't know if I can get it near to the camera so you can see. Praise, Praise God. Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's play. <laughs> Praise the Lord. What did you do? Just to sit near the microphone. This is something we've been telling us since we've been having that camera. Yes, 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 yes,
saying that here. Paul says, that's not the rest of God there. This is God, this is the Lord. He is the same. He is the same. He is the same. He is the Thank you, no, thank you. Thank you. Get the other one for Niagara. Praise the Lord. And we want to share that because that was back in 2017. And um, in 2017, normally we take the kids out. My mother was with us at that time. I believe that Zelavine, my sister, and um, all the children, Anthony, Zelavine, maybe Selena, Layla, and, you know, seven of us or eight of us at that time. We had an eight-seat vehicle, and so we would go to the country. And this was very unusual because where we lived in Toronto, we live where there's lots of tall skyscrapers and buildings. So it is not normal for us to see a rainbow in the city because usually the buildings are blocking the view. So when we did get out into the land in 2017, the Lord was hovering and there was an arch right over the road. We were driving under that arch. So from that time, I believe the Lord started to manifest himself in the covenant of the rainbow. And so he sent us here on a great and effectual open door ministries, the word said, but there are many adversaries. But you know, when we came here, we noticed that the rainbow is over the fall. We don't see it all the time, but when we do, sometimes I tell you from where we are, I don't see it at my house. I think nearby the house, we, we would see it maybe on a, night, a nice evening, on a sunny day, we would see it. And sometimes supernaturally, we would just see it appear up out of nowhere when we're driving by, not even the fall, but in the countryside or um, nearby. But I just wanted to share that before. And Minister Vasa wanted to show you, it's so funny that not just appearing in the sky, but where we go with the children, we took them for water play in the park. I believe we went to a, a park in the city. And when we went in the park, we noticed by the park, there was uh, water. The water, you know the kids, they like to go in the water play. It was in outside summer. in the summer. Mm -hmm. And from nowhere, this rainbow appeared up from the water, from the bottom to the top. It is so unbelievable and it was just magnificent. The kids were so excited. They were just running and they were dancing and they were having a merry good time because the rainbow appeared there and it was like it was like a little playmate. They started to be excited and they were so happy. Glory to God. And um, as we came here over the years, uh, many years since before we got married, when we married, and even now at the falls, there is a beautiful, loving display of the rainbow. And we are going to take this rainbow back because this is a rainbow belong to the Lord. Praise be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, man of God. You can rest for a little bit. I thank God for your love and for your um, great um, encouragement and for your um, partnership with this man of God and did you find your scriptures as we're going to get there in two minutes and so the most common rainbow is called a primary rainbow it shows red on the outside with violet on the inside often this bow of light will have another larger but fainter arch above it and we typically call this a double rainbow, but scientists call it a secondary rainbow, my God. And so the, the double bow occurs when the water droplets in the primary rainbow reflect light twice. Since it is the reflection of the primary bow, the colors are reversed, and the double bow occurs at 50 to 53 degrees from your anti-solar point. Glory to God. And so we are going to go right and to the next uh, word that the Lord has planned for us. Man of God, you can come here as I move aside. Come here, man of God. Hallelujah. Thank you.
This is a very serious message and subject. I will take the privilege to speak boldly that God sent his rainbow and made a covenant with Noah and all living creatures since that he will not destroy the world by flooding. So he sends part of his bow. And thank God for this again, she corrects me all the time because we have the rainbow, it is God's bow. So the bow that we see is not a rainbow. We need a rainbow because it comes when the rain falls, but it is God's bow. And so these Sodomitish men and women who are perverting the word of God and taking God's bow as their symbol of impurities and unrighteousness it's abomination unto the Lord and you are being judged by it mm -hmm. yes, Lord. God does not allow us to play with his covenant and his promises though he's forgiven yes, Lord. and the Bible says that when God reveals himself to men and they refuse his revelation they leaves us and it's in the church also I was in a church with over 800 members at the fact that's free for many days. It's a sin, it's abomination, it's uncleanness, it's perversion of God's word. You, I call you Sodomites. The Lord killed out the Sodomites in the days of old for wanting to rape two angels who destroyed one man's daughter. So it's a very serious subject. Those of you who are involved in Sodomite behavior, you call it gay. When I was a young man, gay men, joyful, happy. But you twist it, you twist God's word, and twist the dictionary to your praise. But well, God shall judge you. Hallelujah. I'm reading from Genesis 9, verse 11, verse 11 to, 17. to 17. And this is God's word. And it says that I will establish my covenant with you, Noah, and everyone after you. Neither shall all flesh be cut off anymore by the waters of a flood. Neither shall they there anymore be a flood to destroy the whole earth. Hallelujah. And God said, this is the token of the covenant which I made between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. A sign of God's promises, not for Sodomite. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes, yeah. Verse 13, I do set my bow in the cloud and it shall be for a token of a covenant between me and the earth. Yes, Perverts get that. Mm -hmm. We love you, but we must speak the truth. Yes, Lord. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yeah. And it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth that the bow shall be seen in the cloud. As my wife explained that the children were playing under the water that day, let loose for children to play in when this time is very hot here in Ontario, especially Toronto, Canada. And we saw the bow formed even from the water being sprayed from the pipe. As God is reminding us that the bow is for a purpose, if not to be used perversely. And I remember my covenant which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. And the water shall no longer come a flood to destroy all flesh. We still have floods and fleshes are being killed, people are being killed and animals but not worldwide, because God keeps His promises. Yes, Lord. And the bow shall be in the cloud, and I will look upon it, that I may remember the everlasting, everlasting, everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh yes. that is upon the earth. I'm sorry that preachers don't preach it boldly. Yes, Lord. And we submit to the foolishness that even the governments have allowed. Or we better stand up for righteousness because we're being judged for being a part of unrighteousness if we don't speak the word of God and speak boldly and in love. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes. And God said unto Noah, This is the token of the covenant which I, God, have established between me and all flesh upon the earth. Again, it's a covenant that God has established. We have no right to use it perfectly. 
or an abomination, God is judging that. And God bless you, Praise the Lord. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We go by saying, Here ended God whole words. We honor it by saying, Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and forever shall be, word without end. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so the rainbow, hallelujah, praise God, God's bow, according to the Creator, is the sign of His covenant with every creature, praise the Lord, every living creature that He will never again destroy all flesh with water. So where there are no rainbows before the flood of Noah's day, many creation scientists believe the evidence point to the possibility that before the flood it had never rained on the earth. For example, this um, Walt Brown is a director of the Center for the Scientific Creation in Phoenix. I'm going to sit down and have God because we have a little journey to go. And so he posed that rain as we know it was unknown to pre-flood. If this theory is true, it would have been impossible for a rainbow to form in the cloud since there were no clouds. However, this question is not a new one. The ancient sages debated this among themselves for centuries and they likewise considered modern science of their day. And so the biblical, the biblical commentator Ravan, he urged that a simple experiment prove easily enough that a rainbow is the result of light being refracted through water, which was enough proof in his mind that they were present from creation forward. Thank you, man of God. And so the biblical commentator, Robin, he says, he never believed that the verse we quoted above upon close inspection contradicted science. He states that whether the rainbow was created now or whether it had always been a part of nature, the reason for it representing the sign remains the same. Regardless of whether rainbow exists pre-flood or not, the Creator plainly states that it was after the flood that He set His bow in the clouds as the sign of His covenant. Glory to God. Man of God, you can get me some water here. As I am getting excited, I talk about rainbow, I think of water. And so, we are going to go a little bit in depth about the bow and the throne. Mighty God, mighty God. Thank you. And so, it says, in biblical Hebrew, a bow as in rainbow, and a bow as in a bow and arrow, are the same word as in Kishet, K-E-S-H-E-T is the mindset behind this is similar to our English idea that they both bend. In Noah's day, Yahweh, Jehovah, sovereignly chose to judge the earth with a weapon or bow of water. Therefore, it is fitting that God chose the rain, bow, as the sign of his promise to never again judge the earth. The rainbow points toward heaven Amen. instead of earth as a sign of peace. Amen. Bible or Bible commentator John Gill puts it this way. Though it is a bow yet without arrows and is not turned downwards towards the earth, but upwards towards heaven. You picture that. When we see a bow in the sky, its arch is like this. It's not on a somersault 
right? It's on its upper and it's arch over like this. And we're getting somewhere. And so, ancient cultures fought their wars with the bow and arrow and the side which surrendered pursuing peace instead of war would express their will to do so by raising an inverted bow that the enemy could see. Similarly, God places an inverted bow in the heavens as a sign that he is no longer warring against humanity. In most places, the word kishet denotes a bow of archery or the archers who handles bows. Mighty God, I could only find three other reference to the majestic seven colored rainbow in the scriptures. We're not going to take it out because, you know, those that has a dethroned or those people that has taken God's and imitating, they are going to be judged for what they have done. Because there are seven colors and it's God's perfection. Amen. Glory to Amen. God. Amen. And it says like this in Ezekiel, in most of these verses, the bow is found surrounding the throne of Yahweh God. The first place is in Ezekiel's vision of the four living creatures. Ezekiel 1 verse 26 to 28 says, Now above the expanse that was over their heads, there was something resembling a throne, like a lapis lazuli in appearance, and on that which resembled a throne. High up was a figure with the appearance of a man. Then I noticed from the appearance of his loins and upward something like glowing metal that looked like fire all around within it. And from the appearance of his loins and downward I saw something like fire and there was a radiance around him. As the appearance of the rainbow in the clouds on a rainy day so was the appearance of the surrounding radiance. Such was the appearance of the likeness of the glory of the Lord. And when I saw it, I fell on my face and heard a voice speaking. The vision must have been amazing. Can you imagine what this must have been like for Ezekiel? First notice the reference to the expanse or as some translators say, the firmament, this should remind you of today of creation when God placed an expanse or firmament between the heavenly and earthly waters. Amen. Genesis 1 verse 6 to 8 says, God's throne and the one with the appearance of a man are seen above this expanse. The one with the likeness of man is oddly described from his loins and upward and his loins and downward, yet both resemble fire, a form of light. This radiance is said to surround him as a rainbow of colorful light. Thus, we can imagine that seeing Yahweh God, Jehovah, the Lord God Almighty is like seeing bright white light refracted into the seven colors of the rainbow. Amen. As we have listed here, Amen. praise Amen. the Lord. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Perhaps the color or refracted light is seen because our eyes cannot perceive his full nature as pure white spiritual light. It must be refracted, bent, or slowed down in order for our light's eyes, for our eyes to see it. This is something to think about. We must remember that the natural world teaches us spiritual truth Amen. as the rainbow. Praise be the God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Do you have anything to say, man of God? And so I was just sharing these lovely pictures and this was also another video i think this was taken in uh, may 13 in 2020 
as we were standing by the fall, praise the Lord. Yes. Mm. Can you show him some of us? Use your microphone. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Get your microphone. Don't put it back up because I need your support. It has to show. This is not us, but this is the Lord coming down and showing himself to his people. Double rainbow. That's the double rainbow here in Niagara Falls in 2020. Mystery in God's doings. Praise the Lord. Speak, yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I don't want to say much. I don't want to support my, my friend's message. But the Bible says, Who are we to argue with God who has made us male or female? That a man and or a woman want to change their gender. That is dictating to God. That's rebellion. Mm -hmm. And those bring diseases and, and, and wickedness. So God wants us to repent. I want to bring this in that God wants us all to repent. All sin is sin. And some are called abominable sin. But God wants us to repent. So if you're in my, you're hearing of my voice today and or the Holy Ghost is convicting you, for it does convict men of sin. The Bible says that the Spirit of God goes and we are convicting men of sin long before Jesus Christ came. And since Jesus Christ came and prayed before the Ghost here, the Bible says he corrects us of sin and, 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 and unrighteousness. He reminds us of sin and unrighteousness. So God is always Letting us know where and when we're sinning, and God wants us to repent. No, we're not putting anyone down as caught in this situation because all sin is sin, as I said before. But God wants us to repent. Repent means confessing your sin, calling upon God because sometimes one is bound in a situation to have no power over this bondage. A prince of darkness is God has you bound. But the Bible says, they that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. God now will deliver anyone who does have a situation. So it's sin to turn the naturalness of a woman and man against God's will. God wants us to repent. And that's why he sent the cloud as a promise to wreck the boat. His boat is a promise. He will not destroy the world. It's not for it to be perverted. So I'm saying this repetitiously. That we need to realize we cannot take God's word and play with it abominable. And on account of that, sin has maximized and disease is an epidemic. So there is no man, whether government or preacher, I or low, that can change God's order of things. Again, Paul said, Who are we to argue against our Maker? 
when he does, doesn't force himself on man, but when, we, when he speaks to us and refuses to listen, then he leads us to our reprobate mind and we do things that are not convenient, not convenient. So check ourselves out if we are reprobated or not. Even within the so-called church. Because no sin shall enter heaven. Amen, amen. God bless you. Yes, Lord. We can continue to record. This is not working. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. And so, here we have saying in Revelation 4, verse 2 to 3 says, Immediately I was in the spirit, and behold, a throne was standing in heaven, and one sitting on the throne. And he who was sitting was like a jasper stone and a sardis in appearance. And there was a rainbow around the throne like an emerald in appearance. Glory to God. And Revelation 10 verse 1 says, I saw another strong angel coming down out of heaven clothed with a cloud and the rainbow was upon his head. And his face was like the sun, and his feet like pillars of fire. In these verses, we get to explore the Greek word for rainbow, which is iris, and we get such word as iris, and iridescent, or iridium, and iridology from this Greek word. These cognates are named due to their association with a colorful appearance. God bless you. Exodus 30 verse 22 to 25 says, Moreover, the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Take also for yourself the finest of spices, of flowing myrrh, 500 shekels, and of fragrance, cinnamon, half as much, 250, and of fragrant king, 250, and of cassia, hyris, which is very colorful, 500 according to the shekel of the sanctuary and of olive oil a hymn. Verse 25, you shall make of these holy anointing oil a perfume mixture, the work of a perfumer, it shall be holy anointing oil. So the question becomes, what does the spice, cassia, have to do with an iris or a rainbow? The Hebrew word of cassia is kidda, K-I-D-D-A-H, and means to roll or shrivel or contract. The spice is made from the bark of the cassia tree, and so the sections are rolled and dry from both sides toward the center so that they end up resembling scrolls or scrolls. This rolling like a scroll is hint of creation day two and the expanse or firmament between the earthly and heavenly waters. One day instead of being stretched out as in Isaiah 42 5 like a rainbow the heavens will be rolled up like a scroll as in Isaiah 34 verse 4 and Revelation 6 verse 14. But our Hebrew word kidah most often means bowing of the head in worship or in great respect. Example Genesis 24 verse 26. Since Hebrew is a very action or verb based language, the verb from Afkida gives us insight into why the rabbis or the rabbis translating the Hebrew Tanakh into Greek chose this particular word in reference to the cassia spice. Cassia is the fourth ingredient in the holy anointing oil. I don't think it is coincident that the rabbis use iris as I-R-I-S for kida, K-I-D-D-A-H, in reference to the holy anointing oil. Four is another picture of completeness or seven. Yeshua, Jesus, the Messiah, comes from the house of Judah, Jacob's fourth son. He is the anointed one standing in the midst of the seven branch menorah. He is also representing the light of God. 
The menorah is the perfect, mighty God, manifestation or motive for not only the seven spirits of God, but also for light seven forms in the electromagnetic spectrum and its seven colors of visibility of light. As we have here, man of God, we can show this color, man of God. As we show, and it's red, praise be the God. The red in color, praise God, maybe a little bit higher because it's on the chair. It's red, praise God. And then it's orange, as I tell you the color. They're in order, red, orange, praise the Lord. And then it's yellow, praise God. And then green, hallelujah. Green, that's by Tiara. <laughs> and then it's blue, praise the Lord. And then there's also another color, indigo, that's mixed between the purple and the blue, which is indigo and then purple, violet, as in color. These are special unto the Lord. Thank you, man of God. And so, the rainbow seven colors is a perfect natural beauty display of the splendor of his kingdom and throne. Glory to God. Amen. As a side note, this should really open our eyes to all the blaspheming and of his glory and kingdom when those homosexual, those ones that are using God's colors for their pride, for their rainbow, mighty God, and for their community, they're using this to, 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 to manifest as a symbol, but it is a re rebellion. God forbid rebellion, because this is a symbol of their rebellion. And when people are going the other way with reprobate mind and man loving man and woman loving woman or vice versa are getting with beast and with animal, that is rebellion to God's word. God forbid and you will be judged for that, my God. And so while it may appear bright and cheery, it is in reality, it is a counterfeit and wickedness and darkness and evil and perverted my god i am not going to get there but you know what god is the judge glory to god and so we go back in revelation 10 verse 1 says we are told of a strong messenger with a rainbow upon his head some would envision something like a halo but the halo mighty god it doesn't originate in scripture it comes from the Asian sun god deities and the oldest form of false worship. Nevertheless, we have many places in the Bible where a shining or glowing light, even fire emates or emanates from either God or a person. And if you have known and you've been following our spiritual father, Apostle David E. Taylor, we witness and see the glowing God's glory on his face that he shines and he radiates with that glory, with God's fire that comes upon his face. There is a gleaming light that God will visit you and he has visited our spiritual father, Apostle David E. Taylor, with the covenant that he has with him. And there has his face shine like Moses. And so there is a radiant of fire and there is also a radiant of sun that comes off his face. And I want to share that with you that people and Christ himself, God or a person, may shine with this light. And so we freely admit that it is possible that this rainbow upon this messenger's head, as in Revelation 10.1, may actually be similar to a halo. Please, let's see this now. I can get some water, man of God. I'm, I'm in school, you know, man of God. You know, you have to study to make yourself approve. And I thank God and for our dear spiritual father for saying we must study. We must spend time with the Lord. Glory. Thank you. And so we must study. And it says here now that a rainbow actually forms a full circle. A full circle like this. 
around the point directly opposite to the observer from the light source, since the light source is usually the sun. The center of the circle is the antisolar point and the observer's shadow. So when the observer is located at a considerably higher attitude, like an airplane, so if you're in an airplane or you're on a mountain top, the full circle of the rainbow can be seen. And so the picture, we have a picture of this full circle of the rainbow. And so I'm gonna come and I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna come and be brave with like Minister Vassal. And so here, it is a full circle of the rainbow, glory to God. And so top to bottom, we have a full, complete, circular rainbow. This is not a shadow, but it is circular from top to bottom. It is round, glory to God. And we are getting somewhere because I wanted to share that with you, glory to God, because God has made something beautiful out of the rainbow. So we said, could this circular rainbow be an illusion as to why Moses' face shone with a great light after his encounter with Yahweh God on the mountaintop? In other words, when Moses ascended up to that lofty point on the earth, his shadow didn't block any of Yahweh's glorious light. Don't we see the same marvel when Yahshua takes Peter, God, like Jesus, takes Peter, James, and John up to the mountain of transfiguration. And Matthew 17, verse 1 to 6 said, Six days later, Jesus took with him Peter and James and John, his brother. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And led them up on a high mountain by themselves. And he was transfigured before them, and his face shone like the sun, like the sun, and his garments became as white as light. Glory to God. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, talking with him. Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. If you wish, I will make three tabernacles here. One for you, and one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. Glory to God. And so, when the disciples heard this, they fell face down to the ground and were terrified. I can imagine that feeling. If I heard an audible voice in the garden, or if we were outside and I hear and we didn't see anyone, I'm sure I would be terrified. Mighty God. And so, do you suppose that the faces of Moses and Yahshua were similar when they shone? Exodus 34 verse 29 to 30 says, And it came about when Moses was coming down from Mount Sinai, and the two tablets of the testimony were in Moses' hand as he was coming down from the mountain, that Moses did not know that the skin of his face shone because of his speaking with him. So when Aaron and all the sons of Israel saw Moses, behold, the skin of his face shone, and they were afraid to come near him. And so do you know that when you're carrying the glory of God, that even your own family, even your own friends, they will be scared of you? We have a lot of people that will oppose us because when you're bringing and carrying the glory of God, it is not you, but it is the Spirit of God, and that glory will make your face ray, um, shine, and so they will be terrified because where light is, dark cannot um, dwell. And so if your heart is full of darkness and you don't understand the things of God, you will be scared and fearful. You will even turn to betray the Lord because you don't understand 
but I want to let you know that it is possible that God's people, their face will carry the glory of God. We are made in his image and God is using his sons and daughters, his leaders to shine his glory. And so we find it fascinating. We're, how are we doing with time and of God? We did start about 20 minutes late. Please forgive us. So if you have to go, it's 530. Please go ahead. But we have to finish this. We will probably be with you another 20 minutes. But please bear with us. And so we find it fascinating that in the natural, one must be at a high altitude, such as a mountain top, in order to see a complete rainbow. A picture, are you, are you keeping an eye on that man of God? Yes, yes, yes. And so, a complete rainbow, a picture of God's covenant. And so, um, I believe personally that the shining faces of both Jesus and Moses would have been similar to the circular rainbow. And so, Yahshua, which is Jesus, is the one standing in the midst of God's menorah. He is the light of God, the Lord God Almighty. He is Jehovah. But at the time of the transfiguration, he was not yet glorified. In other words, it is possible that the light was still veiled or refractured, bent or slowed down, and this enabled his disciples to perceive it and him. And so, a rainbow in all its fullness is not just a bow or arch. It is a circular for, it is circle. For those of you that have been studying the Hebraic mindset, this shouldn't be too surprising that God and his creation, his calendar and his word, and all cynical in nature, mighty God. So, we know of the natural word, the Gorgian Kalinger, right, Mr. Yeah. And um, we have just celebrated the new year in the Hebrew calendar, praise yeah. the Lord. Yeah. So we, the earthly and natural um, calendar, you want to talk about that, Mr. Vassal, that in, in, we are going to celebrate the new year in 2023 on January 1st, December 31st. Going over into January 1st, we are going to enter the year 2023. And that's by the Gorgian calendar, if I'm saying that right. But we have already entered the Hebrew calendar, the one on God's calendar of the new year 2023. So if you're waiting for 2023, you're already late because we've already <laughs> entered the new year. We are already in the new season. Yes. It comes around the fast and the harvest season for God's calendar that it is 5783 as in representing 2050, right? 2023. Please excuse me. So 5783 and it is con conversing to 2023. So that's a little bit of information there. And so that is cylindrical God's calendar. So Ezekiel 1 verse 15 to 20 says, Now as I looked at the living beings, behold, there was one wheel on the earth beside the living beings, for each of them are four of them. The appearance of the wheels and their workmanship was like sparkling barrel, or sparkling barrel, and all four of them had the same form their appearance and workmanship being as if one wheel were within another. Whenever they moved, they moved in any of their four directions without turning. As they moved, as for their rims, they were lofty and they were handsome. And the rims of all four of them were full of eyes round about. Glory to God. And whenever the living beings move, praise the Lord, the, with them, and where, whenever the living beings rose from the earth, the wheels also rose also. Wherever the spirit was about to go, they would go in. You can read it for yourself. I'm not making up something. It's in Ezekiel 1, verse 15 to 20. 
and I am at verse 20. Wherever the spirit was about to go, they would go in that direction. And the wheels rose close beside them, for the spirit of the living beings was in the wheels. Oh my God. These shining wheels with rims full of eyes, a symbol of Yahweh, Jehovah God, spirit, are about what powered or gave energy to the beings. This can be none other than Yahweh's light, spirit that is symbolized beautifully in the seven days of creation, the seven spirits of God, as in Isaiah 11 verse 1 to 2. And so in the seven feasts of Yahweh, mighty God, as we are still today ending one of the feasts of the fall, and it's called the Sakut. You can look that up, S-U-K-K-O-T, and it is a time of rejoicing. This is where a time that those that live in Israel and those that are celebrating, are they're abandoning in their home. They're living in tents and in booths outside. They're living in camp houses or in tents. They're getting away from the beauty of their home and their sacrifice is their time of being in the wilderness. When you're in the wilderness, you don't have everything beautiful. You have things that is like snakes and out there and bears and you don't have anything. You just have barely to get by. So this is a time of celebration that the Israelites, they, they forsake their home or they abandon their way of living just to show that they are living a life of sacrifice. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And so you can read that. Praise the Lord. But I'm moving on. And so in the seven feast of Yahweh, this is why the seven branch menorah and the seven visible colors function as a light display. As you know, in the throne room, creation gospel students will instinctively perceive why there are four living creatures, for this is a picture of seven. Glory to God. How fitting it is that Yahweh, the Lord God Almighty, Jehovah, chose a rainbow as the first sign of the covenant with mankind and all the creatures of the earth. And so we're going to pray you all see a rainbow very soon. And you know what? It's a little bit overcast and we get out, the sun is down. But I'm telling you, this rainbow doesn't seem to stop shining where we are. Praise the Lord. Here and we when we share it, it is to the glory of God. We are not worshiping the rainbow, but we are glorifying our Father who created the rainbow. Glory to God. That is His story for His glory. Hallelujah. That is a miracle, sign, and wonder. And so we pray you all see a rainbow very soon and take in all its symbolic glory. Imagine the shining faces of Moses and Jesus and the gleaming throne room of the Most High Almighty God. Yeah. I leave you and we leave you with a blessing when you see one of the rainbow. And it says, Blessed are you, Yahweh, our God, King of the universe, who remembers his covenant, is trustworthy in his covenant, and fulfills his word. And so we are coming down with five minutes of your time. And so a rainbow or the rainbow, God's bow, is a sign of the establishment of God's covenant Amen. with us and with every living creature. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And so we should never look at a rainbow without remembering God's covenant with us. And the most amazing thing is that he never looks at a rainbow without remembering his covenant with each one of us. Hallelujah. And so there is signs of his, the, these signs of his covenant come after storms. We all go through storms. No one of us is exempt. It doesn't matter how godly or sinful you are. None of us, my God, has ever not gone through a storm. And so 
we all go through some storm, whether a financial storm, an emotional storm, um, a physical storm, sickness storm, mighty God, lonely storm. No one is exempt. So we have gone through a few storms, Minister Basel and our family and I and myself individually has gone through a few storms in our lives. And yet, his covenant has remained intact. Amen. Glory to Can God. Change. Some storms come without warning. Come on. Some storms come without warning. Sometimes you might be going through a natural storm. It might be a hurricane. It might be a snowstorm. It might be a windstorm. Or it might be a firestorm. It might be a financial storm. We don't know, but you know. And so we may be doing everything right and walking in complete faithfulness to God and His Word. Man of God, you could get me some water. Because when I see Good this, you know, when I think, I remember once we were here for three days and it was a snowstorm. There were lightning and there were thunder and there were 60, I think about this high of snow, right, my love God? Very high. Yeah. And we have never encountered such a pile of snow, even when we lived in Toronto and I've been here 32 years, 33 years in Canada, where we are, and I'm sure in some part of Canada they've had multiples of snowfall, but I'm speaking from our experience. We also have experienced rainstorms here. We have experienced, I've been through sandstorm and hailstorm, and I've been through all kind of storm, financial storm, praise God, hallelujah, and mighty God. But I wanna let you know, that we may be doing everything right, walking in complete faithfulness to God and His Word, but yet a storm approaches. Why? The enemy or Satan, I want to let you know that, you know, when we talk about enemy, we don't speak about this little devil that has red tails and red whatever they Orange. call it. We're speaking of Satan himself. Amen. He doesn't like us. He doesn't want to, he wants to kill, to steal, and destroy. And so the enemy, Satan, the evil one, mighty God, that one that has no chance, and so he wants every chance he gets is to come at God's people and his children, whether you're saved or not saved. He will come to attack and to kill and to steal and to destroy. And so he sees a person who is following God with their whole heart and sets out to destroy them or to get them to let go of God's promises. But I want to let you know that God says in his words, all his promises are yes and amen. And so there have been times when God did not deliver us. You might be going through a storm where you feel like I'm in this and no one cares. I'm in it and I can't feel God. I'm in it and I don't know Jesus. But I want to let you know that there would be time that God will do it for his glory. He wants to give you an experience out of your storm. He wants to be glorified out of your storm. And he wants to bring intimacy to you so you can seek him. Because when family and friends cannot save you and deliver you out of the storm, he wants to get the, that respect and that honor out of the storm. Amen. And so he will want you to come to him and pray to him. And so sometimes he does not deliver us quickly out of the storm, but there was never a time when he didn't walk with us through it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, thank you, Jesus, thank you.
Even when Jesus was to be crucified, he had to say, Lord, if this is your will, if it's your will, what did he say, Lord, take this cup from me. So even if Jesus had to go through this storm, we also have to go through our storm. And so, you know, he says there are times when God did not deliver us out of the storm, but there was never a time when he did not walk with us through it. And there was never a storm that he didn't bring us out of Amen. to the other side. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. And so Romans 8 verse 18 says, For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. I want to let you know that we also have been through a financial storm, you know. I've been through time where I didn't even have money to buy food and we didn't have a place to live. We didn't have a place to stay. And so when we came here, the Lord, I had to leave. I had to give up everything. Glory to God, mighty God. And I had to go back to my mother's house. I had to go there for two years, and that's where I started building intimacy with the Lord. Glory to God. And so I want to let you know, children, never forsake your mother and your father, because you cannot be too highly of your side, which is pride, and said, I don't need my mother, I don't need my father. But I want to let you know that there are times when God will humble us and he will take you back to the place where you leave. And so there we had to stay humbly until the Lord was able to take us out on this great and effectual door ministry. And when we came here in the region, we didn't have a place because during COVID, nobody wanted to give you a place to live. Nobody wanted you in their house. So we had to live in the hotel and the motel. And that's where we started the Lord ministry from. This is where we began this ministry, glory to God. And so I want to let you know that we also have been through the storm. And so when others look at what we're doing and how we're sharing, please do not comment or critique. I know, you know what, if you do that, we're just going to go closer to God because we're going to have adversary, we're going to have foes, we're going to have betrayers, we're going to have enemies, we're going to have people that don't like us. But I want to let you know that there are more with us than they that are against us yeah. because God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit are with us. His angels are on guard and they're more with us, His host in the heavenlies or with us. So it doesn't matter if you unblock or if you block us or if you delete us as friends. You know what? We're not looking for friends. We're not Hallelujah. looking for followers. But we're looking for one that would push us to the Lord. Lord. One that will pick you up and pray with you and build you up and encourage you and says, I, you know, you make me proud. I am happy. But we're not looking for affirmation from man. Because it comes from the Lord, God Almighty, and Jesus. And say, Romans 8, 18 says, For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Jeremiah 29, 11 says, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, says the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil and to give you a future and a hope hallelujah yes we may go through the fire and some of us may go through the water but he will bring us out he may allow us to be refined but he will bring us out mighty god we may feel caught up in a net at times but he will bring us out his faithfulness always brings us out. Glory to God. Deuteronomy 7, 9 says, Therefore know that the Lord your God, excuse me, He is God, the faithful God, who keeps covenant and mercy for a thousand generations with those who love Him and keep His commandments. Family, our friends, even our enemies, 
He is faithful God who keeps his covenant. I don't know what kind of storm you find yourself in today, but this I do know, he is faithful. If he said it, he will do it. Yeah. Today, our prayer for you is this. May there be a rainbow after your storm. Amen. A double rainbow Amen. filled with the blessings, the covenants, his breakthroughs, his miracles, his signs, and his wonders and manifestations of the covenant of your God and our God and my Hallelujah. God, Yahweh, Jehovah, the Lord God Almighty. Mm. And so the Lord and the Bible says in Romans 10 verse 9 to 11 says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Please, please praise the Lord. For the scripture saith, Whosoever believeth on him, or on him shall not be ashamed. Please repeat after me. Lord God Almighty. Lord God Almighty. I love you, Lord. I love you, Father. I believe that Jesus is the Christ. I believe that Jesus is the Christ. The Son of God. The Son of the Living God. I believe. I believe. I have life. I have life. Through His name. Through His name. That's John 20 verse 31. Amen. And it says, "Grant me a heart." Please to grant me a heart of repentance. Of true repentance. From my iniquities. From my iniquities. From my fourth generation iniquities. My fourth generation iniquities. Transgressions. Transgressions. Presumptuous sins. Presumptuous sins. Secret errors, secret errors, secret faults, secret faults, wickedness, wickedness, evil, evil, fear, fear, and blaspheming, and blaspheming. I am trusting, I am trusting for forgiveness, for forgiveness, love, love, compassion, compassion, grace, grace, mercy, mercy, reconciliation, reconciliation, and goodness, and goodness. Thank you. Thank you. For eternal, for eternal redemption, redemption and salvation and salvation in Jesus Christ, in Jesus Christ victoriously, victoriously, triumphantly, triumphantly my personal Lord, my personal Lord and Savior and Savior Jesus Christ, Jesus the Christ. I pray. I pray. Amen. Amen. And I will read this scripture before I finish and hand it over. And it's in 68 Psalm 66 verse 8 to 11. Sorry, Psalm 66, verse 8 to 12, says, O oh, bless our God, he people, and make the voice of his praise to be heard, which holdeth our soul in life, and suffereth not our feet to be moved. Yeah. For thou, O oh God, hast proved us, thou hast tried us as silver is tried, thou brought us out. Thou broughtest us into the net, thou laidest affliction upon our loins, and thou hast caused men to ride over our heads, and we went through fire and through water, but thou broughtest out into a wealthy place. Amen. Glory be to God, man of God. God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. Now I take this time to welcome back no other than my minister Solomon El Kena Vassal. Praise the Lord. We thank God for you. Praise God as he's going to bring us into a close. We thank you and we bless the Lord for you and for your family, for your ministries, and all that pertains unto your life and godliness. Glory to God. Thank you, man of God. God bless you, sir. Hallelujah. But I believe you've been well done, kindly. I could not have brought it even equally as good as Prophetess Kisha brought the word of God to us. I believe she has an unfinished part to share. And so maybe as in this song, we learn not to rush before the Lord. And maybe she'll share 
an experience she had with the Lord just most recently. The Bible says the testament of the Lord makes wise and simple. And there are those of us who need to know that God is real and He spoke in His Word and He doesn't change. Hallelujah. So I'm going to sing this song. And hopefully the Lord will release her to speak that dream. This morning, just yesterday, yesterday, praise God. Hallelujah. If you share it, right? Hallelujah. I'm sorry, I'm wearing your glasses here with different operations, so I'm not seeing as well as I should. So if you see me shifting my face or my glasses, it's just because this glasses are strange for me. Hallelujah. Oh, well, do I remember how I doubted day by day for I did not know for certain that my sins were washed away when the spirit tried to tell me I would not the truth receive I never to be happy and to make myself believe. <laughs> but it's real, it's real, oh, I know, I know it's real. Praise God, my doubts are settled, I, 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 and I know, I it's real. When the truth came close and searching, all my joy of what would disappear, for I did not. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For I did not have the witness of the Spirit bright and clear. If at times the coming judgment would appear before my mind, oh, it made me so uneasy. For God's smile I could not find like the sinless person. When the truth came close and searching, is God searching our heart today? All my joy, so-called joy, would disappear. For I would did not have the witness of the Spirit bright and clear. If at times the coming judgment would be appear before my mind, oh, it made me so one. For God's smile, I could not find is someone in the reach of my voice today in this miserable situation trying to resist the Holy Spirit. When the truth came close and searching, for the Spirit of Truth to do that, all my joy would disappear. But it's obvious. For I did not have the witness of the Holy Spirit. Bright and clear. Jesus. If at times the coming judgment would appear before my mind, I've had those when I was a young man, a little boy that time. Oh, it made me so uneasy. For God's smile I could not find. But it's real, it's real. For sure it's real. Praise God, today my doubts are all set of hallelujah. And I know, I know it's real. But at last I tried, I, I'm sorry, but at last I'm tired of living such a life. 
What a last side shrine kind of living, such a life of fear and doubt. For I wanted God to give me something I would know about. Yes, Lord. So the truth would make me happy and the light would clearly shine. And the Spirit gave assurance yes, Lord. that I'm His and He is my yeah, yeah, yeah. But brothers and sisters, it's real, it's real. Oh, I know for sure it's real. Praise God, my doubts are settled. And I know about I know it's real. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let me share the thing. Okay. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory Praise to God. God. You want me to share the dream? Yes, sir. Hallelujah. I had recorded it. Praise the Lord. I don't know if I should sing audibly or I could share the sharing. Am I praying? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to give it to you, Ross, so I'm going to get it and I'm going to share it with you because I had um, saved it, so this way, Minister Vassal insists that I would share it, so I praise the Lord. I think this is also for the body of Christ, hallelujah, and so it is very profound for what the Lord um, is putting on the heart of his people and for the relationship that he's calling the church into and also for what he's calling individual into. And so I'm going to share it and then maybe I could emphasize if the Lord's will, but I'm going to share it clearly as the Lord has given it to me. Praise the Lord. 15, 20, 22. And it was after 7, Sunday morning, this was, was two days ago. I saw the mountains, I saw the water, the air, like I could see. 
means I'm walking. And I've never seen that before until I go, my God. Yes. And finally, when I arrived at the place that I seem to be, it seems like the house was still in the making. It seems like there was a, um, started to become like the form of a house. There were different departments. But when I looked, there was water. It's like the house itself was a water stream. The different, like you have, like right now we're in a house, and we know that there's a bedroom, there's a kitchen, there's a hallway, there's a living room. But the formation of this house was like a stream. And I was saying, how could they live into a house that just had stream, but the person? I was looking at, and then it was, became a bride, and this person was like, wearing white. Um, I noticed that the person, I was trying to talk to the person, because it seems like, she, um, he or she, the she, she, it's like, the person became the bride, but this bride was wearing white. Um, like, she was getting ready to be married, and she was preparing, I was looking how she was preparing like food, like she was preparing um, food for uh, the coming of her husband. And I was trying to ask her, um, you know, what was she making? But I could tell that it was healthy food. Like I looked at it and it looked like it was something healthy, like green stuff. But I noticed that what I just wanted to notice was I was saying, it's like it didn't bother her. She wasn't getting wet or um, there was no water. Like, but I see all this water that was falling. And I was saying, oh, maybe they are still getting ready to build a house or to put like the frames of the house and then the water. But I noticed that, you know, I was trying to converse with this person and it's like, you know, there was a lack of communication, but I was trying to talk, just, just to take to converse and exchange words. But as I was there, I was just watching and seeing all that was happening, and I noticed that I was waking up like I was out of that dream. And then I went into another dream. The other dream was not clear, but this one was what I noticed that I had to make it clear what what. What really stand out was she, you know, as I said when I finally got there, I think there were exchange of words between, and I was trying to share how I got there. And um, I guess the other partner was saying, you know, they took another route. I guess he took the route to show me there was another way entry to the house. But it's almost like it was a way that was impossible for anyone to even go that way. And that was what we were talking about when I finally got there. was a stream, a house of stream of water. And the water was very clear. It was like crystal clear. <laughs> the water was falling, but everything was just intact. There was no mess. There was no mess. This was just a stream of water house. Glory to God, hallelujah, praise the Lord. Glory, 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 hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. And this, this drive was very clean. Um, why I know is because um, she was wearing white and she was saying like she's never been touched. She was like never been touched in any way, intimacy or any way, she was crystal clear. And she was, it's almost like she was pure waiting to be married. And, um, you know, I think she was trying to say, like, she, she had her, um, she was waiting to have her first kiss or something like that. So I knew that she was pure and she was not contaminated or anything. And that was what I saw. And she was just excited. She had no intercourse and she knew nothing about intimacy. And I think that's what it was like. She was trying to ask me about things in the natural because there was so much spiritual there. So she was saying, I've never kissed my groom, like I've never kissed. And to her, she knew nothing about those kind of stuff. But she, I knew she was ready to be married. Glory to God. Amen. 
Praise the Lord. God bless you, man of God. I didn't remember, but you know, this one was take, um, I had this dream two nights ago. This was on the 15th, and this was as we were preparing. Actually, I had this message for you guys last week, but it was Minister Vassal's to minister, and the Lord didn't permit me. And just as I was preparing this service for you, the Lord gave me this visitation, and I know that person was the Lord Jesus. And so he's coming, praise the Lord. He is coming to his saints, and he's coming, praise the Lord, to meet us. And so I had a great man of God that gave me an interpretation, which can be shared at another time. But the word that was given to me through this interpretation, through the leader, was Revelation 19, verse 6 to 9. And it says, And I heard, as it were, the voice of a great multitude, and as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of mighty thundering, saying, Hallelujah, for the Lord God omnipotent reigneth. Let us be glad and rejoice and give honor to him, for the marriage of the Lamb is come. And his wife had made herself ready, and to her was granted that she should be arrayed in fine linen, Mighty God, clean and white, for the fine linen is the righteousness of saints. And he saith unto me, Right blessed are they which are called upon the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he saith unto me, These are the true sayings of God. And that is in Revelation 19, verse 6 to 9. And so God is calling each and every one of us into a relationship, into an intimacy, into a purity of seeking. And we must keep our bodies holy. We must keep our mind holy. We must keep our body in righteousness and in pureness. For the Lord says, if we seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, then all these things shall be added unto us. And so God is looking for a bride without spot or wrinkle. And so we must come before him in humbleness, in humility, in meekness, and in a heart of repentance. And so he can purge us and he can wash us and he will forgive us of our sins. And those are my few words. And thank you, Minister Vassar, for bringing this and to let us share this to the body of Christ. So when we come before you, it's not us of ourselves, but it is the Lord Jesus Christ who permits us to come and share the word. Glory to God. God bless you, man of God. We just have to finish what the Lord had given us. And uh, I don't like to raise this really on anything that he wants us to share. But that was Jesus who took her, her hand and they spit to this place of the Spirit where she saw the bride of Christ in her pure state being prepared for the marriage supper of the Lamb. Oh it's a very clear dream. And it behooves us to realize that our lives do not belong to us, but belong to the Lord. Yes, Lord. And He wants us to walk in purity, and it is possible. And anything that God commands us to do, or His exercise teaches us to do, it is possible. So let us keep our garments clean before the Lord appears to us like a thief in the night, and we cannot enter the marriage supper of the Lamb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I pray to God in heaven, and not caring what folks said, I was hungry for the blessings. My poor soul, it must be fed. When at last, by faith, I touched him, and the sparks from spit and steel. Just so quick salvation reached me. Oh, bless God, now I know it is real. Saints, it's real. It is real. Oh, I know for sure it's real. Praise God. 
And I know we know it's free. I'm coming down. Say the salvation is free. It's free. Oh, we know for sure it's free. Praise God, oh, comes our settles. And we know, we know it's free. Father, we have accomplished that which we have committed ourselves to do by your anointing. By being obedient to you, and we are free in our spirit from the blood Hallelujah. of all men Mighty God. to whom you have sent us. Hallelujah. We humble ourselves to give you thanks and praise for the grace of obedience, even though we were tested and tried. Yes, Lord. And if we had not known your will, we wouldn't have had a service today. Yes, Lord. But even though we had to start late, yes, Lord. To exemplify that we too go through storms. Mm. While we all to remember that you have given a promise that the cloud, the, the rainbow, or the God's goal, mm. that you will bring us through. That's why it behooves us to study your word and know your will and listen to the voice of your spirit. Yes, Lord. So we know where we're at, we know what your promises are, because the promises of God are yes and amen. And Paul said, it's impossible for you to lie. You cannot deny yourself. Even if we doubt you, even if we don't believe you, you are faithful. Yes. So today we pray for the errors of this word, wherever they're at today, tomorrow, or when. Yes. Even if you choose to interpret this word from English to another language, yes. because you're God. Mighty God. Someone needs to hear this word today. Yes. And so we have delivered your word and the rest is in your hand. I pray for the speaker who had prepared herself and walked up before you. I thank you for the dreams and visions of consolation that you give to her. Give her Christ to see your face by your word and want to stop off what you say to her. I pray her strength. I pray her peace. Hallelujah. I pray her victories. I pray her obedience and submission to you yeah. as she started out being obedient and submissive that she did not swerve to the right nor to the left, yes, even when the fiery tests and trials come. I give myself to you also. Yes, I love you, Lord. I have no words to go. Yes, to whom shall I go? You are the word of eternal Mighty life. God. Lord, we are committed and we can turn back. Mm. So we are sailing in your presence. To that place of your peace mm -hmm. and your benediction of blessings. We love you, we adore you. Hallelujah. Commit ourselves in your hands. Yes, all families, all loved ones, all friends, all brethren, the church international. Yes, Lord. The people of God who are in need, the people who supply their needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Mighty God. Continue to heal those sick and raised today. I pray for speakers yes, Lord. for this. If the, if, if, the, if, if the apostles, so called, Prophets so called and evangelists so called and pastors and teachers so called would have preached the word and lived the word, then this spirit of impurity would have been taken over the world. Oh For we are the light of the world. So I pray that those of us who are willing, you will give us boldness and anointing, divine comprehensive coverage to speak as an hour of God to the world that they might repent and avoid hence flaming fire. With burns forever and ever, and they shall have a body to receive that burning. Okay. Have mercy, we pray today. Yes, and we thank you, Abba Father. We call it done. We pray for those who stand with us, pray for us, support us, love us, encourage us, Lord. Even those who mean well, but are not able to communicate that to us one way or the other. We pray a blessing. We pray for those who would oppose us, tribulate us, and persecute us, and say, We can bring them. Mm -hmm. It's a great to love them. Hallelujah. We pray that they come to saving grace for our later. Father, we will just worship you and come into our lives in your hands. Amen. And this service is now in your hands. Take it where you choose to take it. And be the glorified. And forgive us even though, Father, we fought to start on time. We didn't make it on time. But Jesus Christ reached our Lazarus' grave four days late. Amen. But he was perfectly on time. 
So have your sweet will on you. We thank you. We call it done. Yes, in yes. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon. We are going to see the king. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we are going to see the king. Soon and very soon, we are going to be in this black bride of Christ. Soon and very soon, we are going to see a bridegroom in the air. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the king. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we are going to see the King. No more trouble there when we get home to see the King. No more trouble there when we get home to see the King. When we get home to see the King, there will be no more trouble there. Hallelujah, hallelujah, we are going to see the King. We are going to see the King of Heaven soon and very soon. We are going to see the King. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. We're going to see the King. Oh, Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. Praise the Lord. We bless you in the name of the Lord. We pray the Lord grant you grace in the coming week. Yes, Lord. Through the storms and the tests and the trials that we pass our tests, yeah. having heard this word today, yeah. we pray for more intimacy and closeness with God. We bless you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And, and amen. amen. God bless Praise you. God. We love you all. God bless you to all our family. God bless you, Tasha. Tasha, bless you, my cousin out in New York, America. God bless wow. you, my cousins. Regards to Mikey Chambers, glory to God. God bless you to our dear friend, Michelle. Praise God, Michelle. We love you. God bless you. We thank God for you and say hi to your husband for us. My dear friend, God bless you. To our dear sister and cousin Lacey, God bless you. To my cousin Mark Bell and to our relatives, God bless the Bagaloo lineage, hallelujah. My father's lineage, God bless my the mainland, glory to God and the green. My mother, praise God, God bless the vassals, praise God, the vassals lineage, my husband's lineage. I thank God for you all and God bless our relatives, our family, our friends and the mainland. How can I forget the mainland lineage? Praise God, you know, the mainland is from my grandmother. And so I give God for her and for allowing us to be in this country. Praise God, hallelujah. And I give honor to each and every one of our friends, all the leaders. Mighty God, I gotta go. I know Anthony is probably waiting for us. Glory to God. And so I wanna give honor to our children, all the grandchildren, all our spiritual children, our co-workers. Glory to God. I thank God for each and every one of you. God bless you all. Our siblings and Manzo and Tisha. God bless you and everybody. I want to sing happy birthday, Chanel. Chanel's birthday, my niece, which is Lashante, my sister, eldest daughter, Lashante, her daughter is uh, Chanel, and her birthday is today. And so we want to say happy birthday to you, Chanel. And so we pray your blessing upon you, Pastor Chanel. God bless you. We love you. Happy birthday. birthday. <laughs> to you. Happy birthday. To you, <laughs> happy birthday, dear Chanel. Happy birthday to you. May the good Lord bless you, Pastor Chanel. 
May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord bless you. Happy birthday to you. The baddest that little child shall leave them or lead us. How old is she? She's, I, th I don't know, I think she might be seven. I'll find that out. <laughs> well, Chanel will get her grandmother and pray for her grandmother and pray for the whole family. Her, and her great and grandmother. Her great grandmother. That's why I call her Pastor Chanel. Mm -hmm. She's so godly. We pray that grace will be given to you for the rest of your life that you'll grow in the fear of the Lord and fulfill your destiny. May the Lord bless your mother, your grandmother, your great grandmother, and your old relations. We love you, Chanel. Happy, happy, happy best and, birthday to you. And Chanel, this is your um, auntie, your great aunt, not grandma, which is my sister, because Chanel looks at us sometimes and she knows we look alike, me and my sister. So when she looks at me, this is Auntie Keisha and Solomon. And so we want to say we love you and we appreciate you and we can't wait to see you. God bless you. And love we bless you, Minister Glenn, yeah. and your mother and your son. Thank you for your faithfulness. Mm -hmm. We'll not forget you. You're in our prayers and peace to have a good week. And I want to take my hat off to Apostle David E. Mm -hmm. My wife has already done that. But we honor this man of God. I was thinking yesterday evening how we brought him in Toronto to rescue us. Hallelujah. From, and he spoke yesterday and a few days um, in the prayer for against witchcraft of how he spoke that uh, the rain would fall when he gets into a territory. I uh, remember that great rain for me how we came to Toronto and we had to sit in that church for hours. You need to attend our chance to go to the hotel to change your clothes. They came as you were and preached us talk. We salute you, sir. We thank you for your covering. We thank you for your, your prayers. We thank you for your encouragement. We thank you for your teachings. We thank you for these three years of shutting away and to the best of our ability, we are following suit in the weekend. We shut away as much as we possibly can. Maybe that's why my wife had that nice dream two nights ago, two mornings ago. We honor your apostle David A. Taylor. <laughs> Shalom to Shalom. you, sir, and to your team, yeah. executive team, yeah. fellow um, your service ministers, and all of us who follow. Minister. God bless your face-to-face -face mm -hmm. ministry. Mm -hmm. And we wait patiently for you to come out and do the wants of God. Yeah. We believe that God is from the man that stands between him and the earth, especially the United States, and that yeah. God is about to do something wonderful full of miracles from those years of shutting away and interceding before you because you have will that when God speaks of his judgment you say not over your dead body as the word Jamaica would say you went into a shut away to see God's face and I believe God is under that shut awayness and we shall see deliverance we bless you in the name of the Lord sir we honor you even at the end of our service we believe you have a right to do that to you Thank you, thank you, Apostle David E. Taylor. And I bless my wife God one more bless time. You, I love you. Hallelujah. I love my you. best friend, this <laughs> intercessor <laughs> preacher and <laughs> corrector. Hallelujah. <laughs> Counselor. <laughs> Hallelujah. She is to me also by the power of God with her. I appreciate this relationship and I love you, dear baby. Hallelujah. Bless you. Shalom. We gotta go. God Praise bless God. you. Love you. God Hallelujah. bless you. Thank you.